so uh, continued preparation for Denver. Had a good uh, spirited uh, padded practice today. Um, obviously a very big game for us. Uh, big game for Denver starting the second half of the season. Um, you know, great challenge uh, for our team, but our guys are excited, um, really focused on uh, trying to go out and play our best game, understanding that, uh, you know, uh, this is a, a big game and that we got to continue to put our best foot forward here uh, every step of the way. Any questions? Running in the last couple of weeks, are they stacking the box a little bit more uh, now that teams kind of realize that Jackie Battle can do a little something? It seems like the yards are harder to come by the last couple of weeks for him. No, I mean, I just think it, uh, it depends on the teams you're playing and uh, and how they're playing, but I wouldn't say we're getting anything, uh, you know, much out of the ordinary, you know. Uh, uh, pretty much week in and week out, you got to be able to run the ball against, uh, you know, uh, eight in the box, nine in the box. I think that's the key to being a successful running team is being able to run when they know you're going to run. Um, and, and like I said, we're uh, – we're getting better. I think we're making progress, and uh, you know this this week will be a big, big week again for us offensively to be efficient, running the ball uh, and throwing the ball. What we got to be better on is uh, is first down, just in general, offensively. I think that uh, you know uh, when we don't, when we aren't efficient on first down, it kind of puts us in the hole on second and third down, and uh, and we just can't afford that. So uh, you know we're putting an emphasis on being uh, being better on first down, whether we're throwing it or running it. The way Denver's been playing on offense the past couple of weeks is it tempting to just throw nine guys in the box? You know, no, I don't. Uh, I think that, you know, we've got a, our defensive philosophy, regardless of who we're playing, is we got to stop the run first. Um, if we don't stop the run, uh, we'll probably have a problem against anybody we play and and Denver's no different than and, and they happen to be running the ball really well right now. So again, defensively, you know, we must do a good job against the run and uh, they got a number of guys, including the quarterback that run it well. And at the same time, we got to be able to defend the pass. So, uh, you know, but that doesn't change week in and week out. How's your defense responding to Urban and Palco playing the role of Tebow and kind of understanding what Denver does offensively? I thought, uh, you know, the last couple of days, but today with the pads on, we had great practice. You know, probably one of, in my opinion, one of our, our best practices that we've had, you know, and it was, you know, guys were into it. And, and some of that is that, you know, with uh, getting to do some different things on the show team um, that are interesting and exotic, so to speak. So uh, I thought uh, everybody did a terrific job, but uh, the guys given the quarterback look were, were excellent. So, you know, it was a good practice, good work, and, uh, and I feel like we made progress. You watch a lot of tape of him from Florida, trying to prepare for him? You know, I haven't, uh, you know, I know the guy, you know, defensively, you know, we had a couple of the guys do it, you know, just to make sure uh, that we're not missing anything. But uh, I haven't watched uh, uh, Florida tape this week, but, uh, you know, I made sure I visited with all our SEC guys and, and made sure, uh, again, you know, just been kind of picking everybody's brain to see uh, potential things we could see. Do you ever see the NFL going more to that style of quarterback like you see in colleges with the spread offense and almost run first, pass second type guys? You know, I don't know. I think, you know, you see uh, in our league, you know, Sometimes we are affected by college football, and but more so from the standpoint of personnel, I think, and and that uh, as this college has gone more spread, what's been tougher to come by are fullbacks and and tight ends. But uh, you know they they're still showing up one way or another, and uh, you know I don't know. I just think it all depends on on who you have and what you have, and how you know you best maximize the players that. Uh, that you have on your team, and I think Denver right now is 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 doing a very good job of playing to their uh, to their player's strength. How are quarterbacks coming out now, NFL ready versus say ten years ago? Boy, we're really going off the track. Um, how are they 
different, more NFL ready. Less ready for the NFL now than they were, say, 10 years ago? I don't know. Uh, you know, we've had some young guys step in and be performing pretty well here, uh, which has not been the norm 10 years ago, especially. You know, I think uh, uh, very rarely you see some of these guys come in and, and perform and produce like they have, uh, like you're seeing even this year. So, you know, I don't know. That's probably a question for somebody else. How do you, uh, from the coaching angle, how do you jumpstart yourself on first night? Well, I don't know that it's a jump start as much as it is. You know, we just have to understand that that's, uh, that, that down is a very important down and that, you know, we can't, um, you know, whether it's the start of the series or after, a, after we've converted to, to go to first down within a drive, you know, that we just have to be fundamentally sound and do a good job, whether we're running or passing, you know, and as a, as a staff and as we uh, decide which direction we're going as far as play calls, we got to make sure that we're doing things that we feel like, you know, are, are good, um, uh, efficient, pass plays if we're throwing it and running, you know, again, I think it's probably more about, you know, getting everybody doing the, doing their job to, to create some movement up front. Would you say say the first down calls in this situation are the plays you guys feel most comfortable with, but you know, you feel through practice or pass games are going to advance the ball? Well, I think that, you know, we break first down up and always have uh, from a standpoint of, you know, drive starters, you know, things that uh, are relatively safe or uh, block them up chunk plays. You know, I think it all depends on uh, what you're getting defensively and, and how how you want to attack. And I don't think that, uh, you know, on first down, uh, you know, I, I think philosophically you got to, you know, you're making decisions uh, during the week in the game and, and depending upon what you're seeing. And, and uh, but I don't think that you can necessarily, you know, because there's you, you're generally you're going to get something different on first down than you are on third down, you know, especially a team like uh, Denver. Yeah. Uh, uh, with your defense, the, the defensive line is always important for those guys control their gaps. Is it even more important with this offense coming in and the way they try to run the ball and if they're going to run the read option, do those guys have to be even more disciplined? Yeah, you know, for us in a, in a two-gap defense, I mean, it's very critical every single week, you know, uh, as far as everybody understanding uh, their fit and, and what they have to do and everybody doing their job because if one guy, as we've said, you know, gets out of out of sorts, then that creates a weakness, you know, and and when you talk about a team that's running the ball real well, that's very, very critical uh, because, uh, again, you know, especially when you've got a, a quarterback that can run, you know, they're gaining a gaining an offensive player essentially. And, uh, you know, so that means our defense, we have to make sure that everybody is fitting correctly. But I wouldn't say that we ever – you know, would say that it's more important one week or another, you know, unless we were just playing a team that was throwing the ball every down. Tom, what's your take on Paterno? You know, I think that uh, the entire situation just is uh, upsetting to me. Um, the allegations are disturbing, as I said yesterday, but uh, really just not for me to comment on uh, you know I just uh, you know I think we got to just stay focused on on what we're doing um, and how we're going to get better every every day here and and play our best game this week but like I said I mean it's a it's an upsetting story you know each time that I see anything about it you know it's just that's a that close to home in a number of ways you know having five kids and uh no, no. I mean, my father went to Pitt, and um, but you know, like I said, you know, he was recruited by Paterno to go up there. So, just it's a lot of people that you know, and we got a lot of Penn State guys around, and it's upsetting. So, but we're stay focused on what we're doing.